Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Metro Detroit Living, where I'm gonna give you all details about living in Metro Detroit. And of course, Metro Detroit is all the cities and counties surrounding Detroit and downtown Detroit, which I'm sure you are so familiar with. I'm gonna tell you about the cities and counties you may not be as familiar with. So let's get into it. Today, we're going to talk about the Q1 housing market. So how the housing market went from January to March. Which <laughs> Okay, first things first, I had a housing market overview about a month or so ago um, with Macomb County and I spoke about how it is a uh, still a seller's market. A lot of people are talking about the winter is a buyer's market in Macomb County, uh, Oakland County, that's just not the fact. And that continued throughout February and now into March it continued to be a seller's market. Now, that doesn't mean that it's not a great time for buyers to get out there and find the homes that may be perfect for them. It just means that the seller has a little bit more wiggle room to you know, list the home where they, ha they would have a desired listing and negotiate a little harder. And that is because there are not many homes on the market. There are quite a few buyers, but not many homes to cover the buyers that um, are looking for homes. So that gives the sellers just a little bit more leeway in negotiations. That's it. And we just saw through um, Macomb County, Oakland County, um, that that just went through uh, January, February, and now into March, it's still the same thing. And one thing that was a little surprising, even to me, um, was that the price of the homes um, went up. So. January, February, homes were a little consistent, um, but I think sellers noticed that there were quite a few more buyers out there looking than anticipated. And because of that, they saw the urge to list their homes a little bit higher than they would in a normal winter Q1 season. That just gives the, the seller, just like I said, a little more leeway in listing in their true desired uh, price range. Um, but that does not hold a buyer back from offering what they think is fair for the home. And then that begins the negotiation stage. So nothing much has changed. This Just the sellers saw uh, the direction of the buyers and listed their homes a little higher. But one thing that uh, you could see that did affect the amount of time homes stayed on the market. I do believe in January, mid-February, the homes were on the market for 30 days or less, which is usual um, for Macomb, Oakland County. Uh, you know, homes sell fairly quickly, especially in Oakland County, under that 30-day market time. But because of the prices going a little higher in February, the homes did sit on the market just a little bit longer, leaving quite a few of the homes on the market for 30 days or more. Um, you know, I think that with the higher prices, buyers got a little nervous, but as the homes sat on the market longer, buyers could come and look at the homes once, twice, even three times to really give them some time to think if they wanted to move forward with purchasing that home. And it also opens way for, again, my favorite, the negotiation stage. The home sits on the market a little longer, the buyer gets a little bit more buying power and a little bit more negotiation power, which is always my favorite part. Now I will say one thing um, that looks really good now and gives me a good feeling for the spring is the amount of homes that are starting to come onto the market. Um, we noticed you know, January, 200 to 300 homes in Macomb County, about the same in Oakland County. Um, and then in February, the homes that were on the market went up a little more, still in the 200s, but adding about to 250 to 270. So the sellers were feeling pretty good about putting their home on the market in the Q1 season, which is really good and gives us a great jump for the spring. 
Well, that about sums it up for our Metro Detroit uh, housing market in our Q1 season. Just a view of where we were and where we are. Still a seller's market. Um, still room to negotiate for both sides. Still a great time to buy. An even better time to put your home on the market. And this just gives us leeway into our next video about what to expect for the spring. I think it's gonna be another crazy time. So we'll talk about that in the next video and how you should prepare if you're a buyer and how you should prepare if you're a seller. If any of this helped you in any way, please subscribe to my channel. And again, we'll be back. But in the, in the meantime, check me out on my other socials. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook.